Well, this short video will show you how to use the WebIO Pi um, software application with the GPIO LED board and your Raspberry Pi. It's important to note that uh, the cable that comes with the Raspberry Pi is not twisted here, but yet it's got this extra twist here to put it on the board. That's to make sure that the pins are correct. Uh, I've got it on the network. I've I've also got a wireless keyboard and mouse, but I've got it with a Netgear button on the network. And uh, I got this cute little screen. I hope you can see that. Uh, we're going to be using Web IO Pi, which is a nice and easy application to use. I've installed that on my Raspberry Pi, uh, and I have it running. You probably can't see that, but it's running. Uh, when it's running, I can then use my iPad to go, or my iPhone, or any web browser to go out to that IP address uh, for your particular device on your network, and it comes up with this nice display. And let's see if we can make it work. Uh, so the first thing is these pins could be either input or output pins. We tap on it, make it an output pin, GPIO 25. I tap it, and uh, did it go on? Oh, I, maybe I didn't tap it. Let me get that right. Okay, so that makes it go high. Bingo, pin goes up. If we were to tap the next uh, output pin, let's see, we'll tap that one and that one. Those two go high. Haha, -ha, there it's gone on. So you can see by tapping them off, tapping them on, oh, not ground, but on, you can make quickly show that your Raspberry Pi is being controlled by this iPad right there. Isn't that cool? So that's how it works. No breadboards involved, just one board connected to your Raspberry Pi.